like we are getting our very first view of Dragon there on your screen. Um, it is streaking through the sky as it continues to re-enter the atmosphere. Again, those parachutes have not quite deployed just yet, um, but once they are through the atmosphere, uh, successfully we'll first see the drogue chutes deploy. We're targeting 2.43 a.m. Pacific for that. And uh, just seconds later at 2.44 uh, a.m., we'll see the main chutes deploy. And of course, splash down at 2.47 a.m. Pacific off the uh, coast of Pensacola. Yeah, this view is uh, a thermal view, uh, tracking cam from NASA's WB-57 plane. Uh, I always love seeing this come through because it, I, the, just the brightness gives you a, a good idea of, uh, and it will start to get dimmer and dimmer uh, as we get closer to the Drogue parachute deployment. Uh, this looks like it is a live view coming from Megan, which is the recovery vessel uh, positioned a safe distance away from the anticipated splashdown site. I believe this is the tracking cam, not thermal, uh, more, um, uh, I'm not sure the right way to describe it, but it's a, it's a, a live view camera, but adjusted for the darkness uh, of, the, of the night sky. So that's why the, the pixels on the camera might look uh, a, a little wonky there. And even from this view, it's it's just spectacular. S so amazing to see. Uh, we are expecting the acquisition of signal to uh, be about two minutes from now and splash down. Again, we're less than 10 minutes away from that. Uh, seven minutes uh, or so away from splash down of Crew 7 to wrap up their six month uh, science and research mission to the International Space Station. Dragon SpaceX, com check. SpaceX, Dragon, we have you loud and clear. All right, so that was the voice. We have you the same. Expect automated shoot deployment. That was the voice of Commander Jasmine Mugbelly. Great to hear her voice on the other side of the comms blackout. And a great view here that thermal cam showing us live re-entry of the Crew-7 team on board uh, Dragon Endurance. And the Corps also did let uh, Jasmine Mugbelly and the Crew-7 crew know that they expect a, a nominal or normal drogue chute deploy, um, expecting us to maybe begin to get some views of that here in about a minute and a half or, or two minutes from now. And then following that will be the main uh, shoots that deploy. Continuing to get some really incredible views of Crew-7. Dragon SpaceX GPS has converged. Expect nominal altitude for drogue shoot deploy. All right, good news there. That's an indicator that we can expect the drogue parachutes to release about the 350 uh, mile per hour speed or about 18,000 feet above the ocean. As I mentioned, the, the streak becomes uh, dimmer just prior to the chute deployment. This view here is coming to us from our recovery vessel, Megan, <clears throat> which is the, the large uh, vessel that will make its way uh, out to the capsule and ultimately uh, pick it up out of the ocean and place it in the nest on board. Now we should see the Dragon drogues SpaceX pop out brace here. For drogue window. The thermal cam will provide us a much better view of the parachute deployment. So we are standing by for those drogues to deploy. We should see that begin to happen here any second from now. Tracking to about 15 seconds until drogue deploy. Once again, Dragon is reading uh, its altitude as well as uh, barometric pressure to determine when the appropriate, and there we can see the drogues deploying now, 
uh, the appropriate time to deploy those drogue parachutes. And so these drogue parachutes do help to stabilize and decelerate the vehicle ahead of the mains um, being deployed a short time after. Expecting mains drogue in about 30. Drogue rate nominal. All right, that's great news there, indicating yeah. that the rate of deceleration with the drogue chutes is as expected. The main parachutes will deploy next. That will occur around the 6,500 foot uh, mark above the ocean surface. And at that point in time, the capsule will be traveling around uh, 120 miles per hour. And we can see those main parachutes deploying now. Those drogue parachutes will um, land in the ocean and hopefully we will be able to recover them, but they kind of sink quickly sometimes. So uh, the recovery teams will go out and try to recover those drogue parachutes for reuse on future cargo missions. We can see here. Main chute descent rate nominal. Great news there, indicating that the deceleration rate of the... Copy 1000. So at this point in time, Jasmine is now transitioning into calling out uh, Dragon's altitude. Beautiful thermal view there of the capsule and four healthy mains. It's hard to tell in this view because again, it is thermal, <laughs> but the, the parachutes are orange and white. Uh, if you've seen a, a daytime launch, um, you'll know what they look like and we should be able to see, hopefully- 800 meters. Dragon is now 800 meters. Copy 800. Above the ocean. Now once Dragon splashes down, uh, the capsule will automatically cut the ties to the parachutes. This helps uh, in the case where it might be windy. It isn't today. Uh, wind speeds are um, pretty pretty low at the moment. But if it were a little windy, um, it would help to ensure that Copy six. that Dragon doesn't get destabilized by having the, the main parachutes. And we will also recover those main parachutes from um, as they float in the ocean as well. And standing by for that splashdown, uh, now about a minute away from that or less. 400 meters. 400 meters is, is what Jasmine just called out. So the next call out we're, we'll hear is for 200 meters, and then of course splashdown. So continuing to get great views of four healthy mains, as well as the Crew Dragon with uh, four astronauts on board. Bracing at 200. And the crew is bracing for splashdown. We do hear that the fast Space boats. Space copies 200 and braced. The fast boats are in route. Standing by for splashdown. What a beautiful sight. As you can see on your screen, we have Dragon Splashdown. Space has copies, see the same. Visual and audio confirmation for Splashdown of Dragon Endurance. It has now returned home, and NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli, along with ESA astronaut Andy Mogensen, JAXA astronaut Satoshi Fuokawa, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Konstantin Borisov are back on Earth after an approximately 18 and a half hour return journey from space.